Nothing rises forever. Nothing collapses forever. Does money really matter when the very definition of it is up for grabs? So today is one of those red days. And from time to time, I do make videos when there are red days and people are panicking and there's blood in the streets and hope seems to be gone. Oh my, what are we to do? What are we to do? The fundamentals have changed because day traders are moving in a particular direction or or we haven't gotten something to satiate our appetite for news or progress this week. Oh my, the fundamentals must be broken. The project must be dead. Rats off the ship. It's sinking. <laughs> you know, ours is a movement that is measured in years and decades, and it's a philosophy. It's a lifestyle. It's a belief that we can change things. It's a belief that we can change the way the world works and that together working together hundreds of thousands eventually millions eventually tens of millions eventually hundreds of millions of people from different backgrounds different philosophies religions genders ages cultures will come together and say that the world ought to work a little differently our industry as a whole go through many cycles i've seen it be in desperate times. I've seen it so fragile that a slight change in hash rate or collapse of a particular marketplace and the dream would have been snuffed out like someone blowing out a candle. And I've seen it with a rational exuberance and strong and powerful and billions of dollars flowing in from people covered in avarice and greed not really understanding what they're buying or why they're buying it because they desire to have a grand and great lifestyle. In all these directions, the point is lost in mist. The point is, this is the first time in human history we have the ability to decide not our betters, not kings, not presidents, not empires, not conquerors with a grand military behind them, regalia and all, but we have the ability to rise up and decide how the world is going to work and decide what is fair, what is not fair, and how we should be treated. How should we treat each other? How should institutions treat us? And how do we quantify, qualify the fruits of our labors? And we get to decide the rules behind that. Does money really matter when the very definition of it is up for grabs. We are so close as an industry to a fundamental change in the way that people perceive everything about society. The legitimacy of votes, how to own property. I never in my life would have imagined a reality where people can sell Homer Pepe for $300,000. Yet here we are. All these things are in a Cambrian explosion and extinction of experimentation, quite Darwinian, and each and every one of you is on the train and you're on the boat. Maybe you didn't realize that. Maybe you were here to get rich. Maybe you were here just because it's a protest. Who knows? I don't know your heart or your motivation. All I can do is speak for myself and also of my understanding of the technology and where does it go. The fundamentals of Cardano in particular, are among the soundest in our industry because we're backed by a tireless, passionate community so willing to tattoo their bodies with our logo. 100 plus papers, so much code, so much progress, and we don't regress. We don't give up ground. The deals come. The birds will land. If not now, then later. And I'm patient. And I'm backed by so many people who are as well, who have a fanatical loyalty to the concept that we will get where we need to go. And we'll get there with principles, character, and a belief that each and every one of us matters, leaving no one behind. That's where we're at. That's why I never worry. That's why I say take a chill pill. You know, Nothing rises forever. Nothing collapses forever. 
there will always be ebbs and flows and balances, just like I told everybody last year when we stared at a pandemic and there was panic and everything was falling apart and people believing that society as a whole would come collapsing down and stockpiling food and ammunition and toilet paper as if somehow that rare commodity would disappear in just a matter of a few precious weeks. And was it as bad as we thought it was going to be? Did the whole world collapse? Did there not be a tomorrow? Was The Walking Dead a documentary rather than a fantasy? No, it didn't come to pass. In these brief moments where there's panic are just sad reflections of the inability of some people to really commit. You know, I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to work just as hard as I did today. But I'll probably wake up at the same time. Going to work out. Going to meditate. Answer my emails. Going to talk to the developers. Look at what's upcoming next week. Negotiate some deals that are still in the queue. Check the status of deals that have already closed and we're servicing. We're going to have a call about Alonzo, the hard fork which will bring smart contracts, continue working at partnerships, continue talking to governments, nothing changes. And that's my life. And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and I do it with joy. I really love it. If I made nothing, I made something, I'd do the same thing. Because I worked for free for a really long time. And I'd go back to that. Because I know if I put enough days in, and I do enough work, and I push hard enough, one day I have a real shot at seeing the things that I imagined could be true, actually true. One day I have a real shot at seeing these protocols become the standard instead of the exception to the rule. These protocols being the dominant forces upon which our lives are judged. I look to the future five years, 10 years, 20 years, and let me tell you what we as a species are staring at for a moment. We are looking at deep fakes so persuasive, you will no longer be able to determine fact and fiction. You'll see videos with perfect representations of people you used to know, love, and trust doing deplorable things. We will see AI so advanced that chatbots can pass the Turing test and fool you into believing they're real people and deployed for nefarious purposes, economic purposes. And you think catfishing is bad now? Imagine that future of deep fakes and AI. That's just one dimension. We see CRISPR coming down the pipe that will fundamentally change the way that genetics work for us all. Synthetic biology, designer organisms, engineering at scales and levels we couldn't imagine. You think these pandemics are bad now? Imagine what happens when they can be engineered in ways that would take the worst of all things and put them together and spread them 10 times as fast. That's coming. Amongst many, many, many other things. 